there are so many games out there, so it's often hard to choose which ones to play. But what happens when you love a game and then, one day, out of nowhere, it disappears forever? It might be hard to believe, but even some of the world's favorite titles eventually die. With that, here's a list of delisted games that you can never play again. Ready with that Kleenex? Here we go. Let's kick off this list by talking about the original Prey that was first released back in 2006. The game stars a Cherokee garage mechanic named Tommy who ends up being abducted by aliens and, having no other choice, sets out to save his girlfriend and eventually the world from the extraterrestrial threat. Overall, Prey received a high amount of praise from critics, with most citing how good the graphics and gameplay were. But in spite of its popularity, it was delisted from Steam on December 29th, 2009. How come? Well, the game's supply of Steam keys was sold out during an end-of-year sale, and since 2K, the game's publisher, decided not to restock them, that pretty much sealed its fate, and hence, no more Prey on Steam. That said, the game was made backwards compatible for the Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S consoles in February 2018, so maybe saying you can never play it again is a bit of an overstatement. However, if you're hoping to get it off Steam, I wouldn't count on it at all. Next up is none other than the original Crisis 3 that was delisted from Steam Origin and other digital platforms on September 7th, 2023. Okay, to be fair, you can purchase and play the remastered version of Steam and elsewhere, but while this is cool, some gamers want to experience the original Crisis 3 in all its glory. The reason why Crisis 3 was delisted is almost certainly because the game's online features are due to be closed on December 8th. Major bummer! Anyway, for those of you who don't know, Crisis 3 is a first-person shooter where you play as a super soldier equipped with a highly specialized nanosuit and all the latest weaponry money can buy. Crisis 3 is a great game that makes you feel totally overpowered but is still challenging enough to satisfy more experienced gamers. But again, if you're hoping to grab yourself a copy of the original game from 2013, you will need to find a physical copy, somehow. I'm starting to see why a lot of gamers have a big problem with digital downloads. Not cool man, not cool. If there's one game you're almost guaranteed to never be able to play again, it's 2013's Fuse. Now although Fuse is by no means a bad game, given the fact that its developers are none other than the legendary Insomniac Games, the same studio behind Spyro the Dragon, Ratchet and Clank and Marvel's Spider-Man, the game is kinda mid. Originally marketed as Overstruck, which was a way cooler name, Fuse was a multi-platform third-person co-op shooter set in the near future. You play as one of four misfit agents who must work together to stop the evil Raven Corporation from obtaining an alien substance known as Fuse. While critics praised the game for its selection of weapons and co-op, the Team AR left a lot to be desired, and on top of this, the tone was pretty confusing. But regardless of whether Fuse was loved or hated, it was delisted from PlayStation in July 2020 and the Xbox 360 in April 2021. It's not known exactly why Fuse was delisted, but it may have something to do with Sony's acquisition of Insomniac Games in 2019. I honestly don't think you're missing much if you don't play Fuse, but if you ever want to try it out, physical's pretty much the only way to go. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the Battlefield franchise. In fact, it's a legendary series that's provided countless hours of entertainment to gamers all over the world, but you may be saddened to know that not just one, but three classic Battlefield games were delisted on April 28th, 2023. Yep, Battlefield 1943, Battlefield Bad Company, and Battlefield Bad Company 2 were all delisted by EA since online services for all three games are due to be shut down on December 8th. I totally understand that these titles are well over 10 years old now, but it still sucks to see that they're unavailable for purchase. In fact, Battlefield Bad Company 2 is one of the highest rated Battlefield titles, so I'm kind of confused by this decision. In any case, you won't be grabbing a digital copy of any of these classic games anytime soon, and in all likelihood, ever again. And how about the world of Warhammer 40k? There are plenty of video games that have been released in the 40k universe. Earlier this year, Warhammer 40k Bolt Gun impressed FPS fans with its engaging gameplay, unique aesthetic, and range of different guns and enemies. And soon enough, we'll get a chance to play Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2, the much-anticipated sequel to 2011's Space Marine. But just as new games come out, so too are there games that get delisted. Warhammer 40k Regicide was a turn-based chess-like strategy game that first came out in May 2015. And after seven years of tournaments, and online play, Regicide was finally delisted on October 19th, 2022. I never actually got to play the game myself, but from what I understand, many gamers regard it as the best turn-based strategy game ever. If stats are correct, the game had over 300,000 active players who were awarded more than 500,000 achievements during the game's seven-year lifespan. While it's not confirmed, the assumption is that Regicide was delisted because the Warhammer license expired, and since Regicide was clearly popular, this explanation seems to make the most sense. So games clearly get delisted for a number of reasons, some of which may be beyond the financial means or control of developers and publishers. 
Dirt is a renowned rally racing franchise that has been around for many years, and even though just about every single Dirt title has been a smash hit, they are unfortunately not immune to expired licenses. And fairly recently, both Dirt Rally and Dirt 4 were delisted, almost certainly due to expired cars, brands and media that were present in the games. Dirt Rally and Dirt 4 were removed from the PS4 and Xbox One in October 2022 and Steam on November 7th, and there's virtually no chance of them ever returning. The good news though is that there are always new Dirt titles to enjoy, but sadly it seems that Dirt 5 has had a lukewarm reception at best since it has a 59% Steam rating. Oof. Fortunately, Dirt Rally 2.0 has an 87% rating on Steam, so if you're looking for a Dirt game to play, Dirt Rally 2.0 is probably your best bet. In the world of sci-fi gaming, EVE Online is probably the biggest and most popular space MMORPG out there, and while it's been around for two whole decades, there are a bunch of spin-off series and games based within the EVE universe. You may or may not be familiar with such titles as EVE Valkyrie Warzone, EVE Gunjack, Gunjack 2, End of Shift, and Spark. But guess what? Either way, you're not going to be able to play any of them ever again since they were all removed from sale in July 2022, and servers were shut down the following month in August. The main reasons why these titles were removed from circulation is in order to dedicate more time, money and resources to existing and upcoming EVE projects. I guess you can't really fault the guys at CCP Games for their honesty, but yeah. If you ever had ambitions to become a gunjack, I'm afraid that possibility is now off the table forevermore. So maybe none of these delisted games have hit you too hard, and that's fair, so maybe we need to up the stakes a bit here. How about this one to hurt your feelings? Overwatch was released to the world back on May 24th, 2016 and soon became one of the most popular online team-based FPS games ever. Blizzard allegedly made over $1 billion in revenue in its first year, and after three years, Overwatch had well over 50 million players worldwide. And everything was really great for the longest time, until the game was removed from sale on June 16th, 2022. And if you for some reason don't know why, it's because Overwatch 2 was due to replace the game later in 2022. And on October 3rd, 2022, Overwatch's servers were shut down. And on October 4th, Overwatch 2 went live. And how are things going on the Overwatch 2 front? Ooh, um, hey, you know what? I'm really sorry about this one. That wasn't very nice of me. I honestly don't blame you if you're now in the throes of despair. But why has Overwatch 2 bombed so hard? Long story short, everything everyone was promised in Overwatch 2 just hasn't happened. The monetization is really messed up, and everything that made the original Overwatch so great is all but gone. Personally, if Blizzard can, they should shut down Overwatch 2 and get everyone back from the original Overwatch as soon as possible, but I just don't see that happening. Maybe a bunch of additional negative reviews will do the trick. Guess we'll wait and see. In truth though, there are tons of games that have been delisted, so if you want to peruse all of those that have been removed from circulation over the years, you can view them all at delistedgames.com, which is where much of the information for this video was sourced from. I don't think there's any way to halt the march of progress, but it would be nice if games could get a new lease on life elsewhere, but for many titles, there's essentially zero chance that you'll ever get to experience them. And that brings this video to a close. What games do you wish weren't delisted? And are there any cases where games deserve to be removed from circulation? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel for daily gaming, VR and tech content. From me and the crew, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Later!